On Saturday, my son and I drove through the beautiful foothills of Virginia to the Blue Ridge Folk-like Festival held on the campus of Ferrum College. And we are both students at a smaller university in Southern Virginia, and we had campus in the, look at this, they even had a pond. I love the Folk Life Festival, and of course the first thing I wanted to see was the animals, like these Tunis sheep, which are a rare heritage breed, but then we found out they were going to have a horse pulling competition. So we went over to where they were getting the horses ready, and these horses are huge, and I got to talk to a man who actually works with them. You log with them? Really? Wow. Where do you, where do you go to log? I, I live in uh, southwestern Virginia, uh -huh. north of Kingsport, Tennessee. Oh, is there a lot of all around that area? Is there a lot of demand for horse logging? Yeah, it's I've been it's, doing this for thirty years. Okay. I've never been without work. With three different breeds of draft horses, Shires, Belgians, and Suffolks. The Suffolks were the largest, and they had to pull this metal sled and they kept adding concrete blocks to the sled and by the end of the competition the largest of these horses the Suffolks were dragging in excess of 5,000 pounds back and forth across the arena. It was really something to see and I could have stayed there all day and watched the horses but there are other things that Lucas and I wanted to enjoy. After saying goodbye to the horses, we headed over to the reproduction village where we watched this blacksmith working on a forge. And then I got to spend some time talking to this wonderful lady who was spinning. And she was telling me about her wheel, which is actually from the 1970s. And we had a nice conversation because I am a spinner and I always enjoy talking to other spinners. And she was telling me about her wheel and about how she used to keep sheep. So that was a lot of fun. Then we went to the house where they had uh, some ladies making home churn butter and some other things and they were answering questions and then outside there was a woman who was baking bread in an outdoor oven and we got a sample but it wasn't enough so we went and got a funnel cake because what's the festival without funnel cakes? We sat under a tree and ate that before heading over to where they had some more craft displays and that was on the other side of the campus so we had to do some walking. On the way we saw another bluegrass band and we watched some people dance and this is really nice. There was a lot of music at the festival. At the intro to this video you can hear some singing and that was actually audio that I took at the festival and the singers were young and they really had like a lot of people watching them and I did really enjoy the music. Even though I'm not really a bluegrass fan, I did really like this music at the festival. It just really kind of like set the, the mood. So we finally made it over to the craft building and there were people doing traditional crafts. I did stop here to get some of these hand churn spoons. They're really nice. And then I spent some time talking to this lovely lady who was hooking this rug and she was telling me about how she was using the pattern from a 100 year old Halloween card. And I love this because it was giving over the garden wall vibes with the pumpkin and the cat. and. Her work was absolutely stunning. Just loved it. And these ladies did corn husk dolls. They had all kinds, and the detail for these little dolls was really adorable. This gentleman was my favorite. He makes turkey calls, and he told me all about them. Then when they when they go to feeding around, they, 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 talk, they talk real soft. When they, when they want the, the male gobble to come, and they, they, they go. <laughs> and then when they, sometimes they purr, they go. And they, they cut something they call it a cut, they, they go. I've heard that. That's when they get along, they go. Yeah. They wow. Ready, they ready to go when they do that. How long have you been making these? All the years, I guess. It was a full and fun day at the Blue Ridge Folk Life Festival, and I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to learn about traditional crafts and likes anything to do with Appalachian culture. We had a wonderful time, and the drive home was very lovely with the autumn leaves. 
can't wait to see it again next year.